Hey guys, this is Camfree15 and I'm back at it with another video for you guys and we are back with some more fairy tale 100 year quest manga chapter review. In a very, you know, interesting chapter we got here, especially with the fact that, um, you know, now we got one of the freaking, you know, guild members of the freaking uh, fourth generation dragon slayers now in Ellen tier, as well as it seems like, um, you know, obviously we get the cliffhanger at the end with, you know, how, cra how crazy, you know, she, my goodness, this episode was freaking crazy. This episode, Yoko, you know, what Yoko was doing at the end was insane. But anyways, let's get into this manga chapter. This is chapter 77 titled White Out Village. Now, obviously, we saw that Whiteout Village was obviously, you know, in ruins, and we wondered who did this and who's the mysterious figure. We see the mysterious figure is one of the guys from the one guild who Fairy Tale is going up against, um, the ones with the fourth generation dragon slayers that essentially want to kill them and stuff like that. Now, Ferris is like, "Did you do this?" And essentially, he's like, "Yo, I'm just passing through and stuff like that." Um, now, what we, what Toka eventually feels off from him, Phil, he's, she essentially says like, you know, the magic he's emitting from his body is from Earthland. Um, and he's not from Elantir and stuff like that. And that's when he replies with saying, yeah, correct, I'm, a, I'm lost and stuff like that. Um, and then that's when we see a new character here into the fold. And that's essentially this guy, essentially, one, he says this guy's name, and this guy's name is Suzaki, um, which we all know from a few chapters ago. I forgot what chapter it was, but it was a few chapters ago. It's been so long since I remember the name, so yeah. And then that's when we see, or we're introduced to the Grand White Priestess. Um, I think she, I think this person's an old lady. So yeah, um, at first, when I was reading this late at night, I thought it was a dude. I was too tired, so I read, read, reread the chapter, but yeah now obviously ferris is like wait you're all right and everything and you know that's great and you know even you know the priestess is like hey i'm glad that you're okay as well and everything now this is when we get some information about the body the women bodies on the ground and essentially the priestess says each and every one of these fallen ones is a sumika which a sumika means fingernail dirt um, still kind of freaking confusing. Um, essentially, she goes on to say, every last one of one, one on my star is fine. Um, then, you know, you have um, Shuzaki, like, wondering, like, what is this stuff and things like that. And essentially, Toka replies saying, there are monsters born from the hands, and it seems that they were camouflaged as people. If you remember the hands, that was kind of the thing we saw when our characters first got to Ellen tier. So we see that essentially they're like kind of shape-shifting camouflage people that freaking are camouflage things that camouflage into actual human beings, which can confuse people. The priest is going to say the hands haven't given rise to um, Sumika in decades. To the same extent, Ellen tier's magic power has been unstable, which we know the magic power in Ellen tier is far greater than Earthland, and also too, it's very unstable with what Celine's doing here and everything, and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, and that's the thing that the priestess makes a mention too. She's like, this all happened because of you know, the White Dragon God Celine and stuff like that. It's still in our world, world and stuff like that. And we find out that the priestess have actually summoned summer um Shuzaki Shus to essentially. Hopefully I'm saying, yeah, Shuzaki. The priestess actually summoned him to Elantir um, because she even says like a dragon hunting expert, which technically he's a dragon slayer. So yeah, um, she managed to summon people, summon and bring him to Earthland and then, you know, be able to take out Selene, which is something similar to how they did it in um, Edelis, but it seems like it was more by force here and stuff like that. 
Now, Shuzaki is like, how more fine? So I have found myself summoned with no fair warning as a bodyguard to defeat Selene. Essentially saying, so you just summoned me to be your bodyguard to take out something you guys can't do. Um, and eventually he's like, fine, I'll do it. Um, and stuff like that. Because even the priest is like, can we rely on your dragon hunting skills? And he's like, yeah, sure. Now, um, that's when Ferris is like, for the moment, please tell us your story from the beginning and allow us to share our circumstance. So, um, this is when, you know, Shuzaki is like, to confirm, tis the work of Selene, um, that is this world's magic power have become unstable. And essentially, that's when the priestess says, yeah, she has to be defeated. Otherwise, Ellen Tears magic will run rampant. And then we all know that the world's essentially going to implode on itself because the magic is too much to handle in this world and everything and stuff like that. Now, Shuzaki's like, well, yeah, that's good, but it wouldn't be a problem if, you know, Fairy Tail didn't get involved in this. And we know that Fairy Guild does not, are not fans of Fairy Tail. They do not like Fairy Tail because they see Fairy Tail as the enemy, especially with the fact that they attack him and everything and stuff like that. And it even shocks Toka and Ferris and stuff like that. And he's like, regardless. And essentially, Suzaki's like, listen, you know, you can say they're nice people, you can say they're kind people, but they hurt my comrades, and if they get in my way, I will kill them and stuff like that. Now, you see these interesting creatures um, are a second wave of Sumika, which are like these bug looking type of devil it type of things. Their designs are really good, are really cool looking and stuff like that. So, and, and look, I haven't watched Eden Zero or I haven't read Eden Zero, but it looks like something like, honestly, probably something out of Eden Zero from what I've seen um, and stuff like that. And eventually she's, um, she's, um, Shizaku takes them all out with utter ease like and in that fast of an instant where nobody even saw that coming and i'm like and i'm reading this i'm like dude how fast is this guy which is freaking crazy and it's even funny because the other girls are like wait i barely saw this guy move and stuff like that so you know and, and it's crazy too because even toga makes a mention like he didn't even move an inch one yet the priest is simping over this guy so that's funny um, yeah, so eventually they tell him, they tell um, Su Sh Suzaki um, where Selene is and they said sh um, she's at Black Moon Mountain, which obviously our fairy tale members are at and stuff like that. And then essentially, um, um, Shizaku is like, okay, fine, you know, and if fairy tale will stand in my way, then I'll cut them down. Um, so yeah. Um, which, okay, that's great. Now we cut over back to what's going on at Black Moon Mountain. Essentially, the others run up to run up to speed what happened to Urza. Wendy gives like who she was. Um, Aquarius makes a funny reference to the fact, again, continuously the joke of the fact that Lucy had her tits out, but okay, um, which is freaking funny and stuff like that. Um, essentially, um, Gray and Natsu tell the others, like, listen, we're at Selene's place. We got to get to the top to freaking take out Selene and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah. Now, Aquarius makes a mention saying that, you know, the people here use some sort of strange technique, which is different from magic and stuff like that. And then that's when you have the Moonlight Beauty God, Yoko, um, coming into the picture and saying, and she essentially says, I'm going to change into a more uglier form of Yokai. And essentially, they're making sure. They're making, they're gonna come, they're gonna re-encounter her. They're gonna start fighting her again and everything. Now, Natsu and Gray make a mention say her power is like the snow lady power um, and stuff like that. Now, um, Wendy uses a superior spell, so they'll be able to fight and stuff like that. And essentially Yoko is like, you still don't get it. The true horror of pandemonium. And essentially the manga chapter ends off with our hero surrounded by these freaking demon looking ghoul type of things, which the panel looks really good art wise and stuff like that. Um, I thought it was a really good chapter. We get intro more introduced to um, Shuzaki and what he can do. Again, further the threats that he might get in the way of fairy tale. So it seems like fairy tale might have to fight him. Um, who knows? We'll see what's going to go on there. Um, but definitely they're going to be coming across Yoko. Um, 
it's gonna be interesting to see where the story where the story goes too so you know people wonder how are you know the fourth generation dragon slayer is going to be able to get into ellen tier to wonder what fairy tale is doing well the priest has summoned one of them so um i'm guessing this is going to be the person they're going to take out um yeah and then i guess after the soul Celine thing you know i'm there's really you know I think one more dragon god left to take care of, as well as this other guild they have to handle. But I thought it was a solid chapter. I very much enjoyed it. Um, you know, it is going to be very interesting to see what this Shizaku, this yeah Shizaku does. I'm mean, gonna no, I keep saying his name wrong because I keep forgetting. But it's going to be very interesting. And then the fact that he attacked those creatures, um, and. You know, he barely moved an inch and stuff like that. I'm like, dude, how powerful is this guy? So, yeah, um, obviously our hero is going to be in some trouble along with the Selene issue. This guy, too, seems like he's going to be a problem. But, yeah, other than that, that's kind of all I got to say for this manga chapter. Again, good manga chapter. I very much enjoyed it. I had, you know, I, it just explains, I guess you can say expands the more progression of the story where this is definitely going to be going and stuff like that. So yeah, but other than that, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day or night when checking out this video. Leave a like if you like this video. Put in the comment section your thoughts on this manga chapter for fairy tale. Yeah, other than that, guys, I'm going to get out of here. I'll see you guys in the next video and stay safe out there. Peace.